This guide covers the initial setup and basic operation of your gauge from powering on to taking a measurement. Please refer to the operations manual for more details. The following initial steps are recommended to start taking measurements with the NoNuke. The gauge operation accuracy can be checked at any time by using the verification function in the menu item. Refer to the manual to periodically verify the operation of the gauge. 1. Powering the gauge on. 2. Set time date. 3. Set units. 4. Input max density. 5. Input mix information, mat thickness, and max aggregate size. 6. Take a measurement. 7. Density measurement. 1. Powering the gauge on. Press the on key to power the gauge on. When the gauge is powered on, the no nuke will show Instrotech. After three seconds, the serial number and battery voltage will be displayed. After displaying this screen for two seconds, the gauge will be ready to be used for testing. 2. Setting time date. To provide proper time and date for measurements, complete the following steps. Press Menu and the menu screens will be shown. Press down and scroll to the Set Time Date screen to select menu item 5. Set Time Date screen, press 5. From the Date Time menu, press 1 to modify the date and time. The other options on this screen allow for the date, time, and hour formats to be changed. Follow the screen prompts to change the time and date format. 3. Setting Units the default for the gauge is in English units, pounds over cubic feet. You may change the units by the following steps. Press Menu to enter the menu screen. Press Down to scroll to the next menu screen. Press 4 to select Item 4, Set Units. Choose the units you want to use. After selecting the unit of measurement, the No Nuke returns to the menu screen. Press Escape to return to the main screen. 4. Input Max Density No Nuke measures percent compaction based on max density input by the operator. In No Nuke, you can easily change the max lab-determined density value as needed to accurately measure percent compaction. To set the daily max density value, complete the following steps. From the Ready screen, press Max key on the keypad. Press Yes or No to change the value or confirm the current value. This value can be the same as the GMM converted to density units provided by the lab and can be changed as needed to account for production variations. Press yes to change the displayed value, no to use the displayed value, or escape to exit. Note, the max density is used to calculate percent compaction. For accurate measurements with the no nuke, it is necessary to establish a density offset for a specific mix. Five. Input mix information, mat thickness, and max aggregate size. The no nuke has a dedicated area for storing important mix parameters. This can be done under menu item 11. Details on entering this mix information can be found in the operator's manual. Under this menu item, you can 1. Select an already stored mix information, 2. Review an already entered mix information, 3. Enter a new mix information, and 4. Erase an already stored mix information. 6. Take a measurement. The gauge should be placed making sure there is proper contact between the gauge bottom surface and the pavement. Avoid wet areas. From the ready screen, press start on the keypad or push the quick button on the handle, which will measure density, percent compaction, air void, road temperature, and further information such as GPS location and project information, if applicable. To view GPS and project information, scroll through the screens by pressing up or down. The GPS screen is only shown if the GPS is enabled through the menu options. The GPS module is set to be disabled to preserve battery life. Enable the GPS module through the menu options. 7. Density measurement. The no nuke is designed to measure asphalt density and display percent compaction. The density values measured by the gauge can be easily adjusted by using a density offset based on measurements obtained from cores or previous calibrations. Determining a density offset. The density offset is equal to the difference between no nuke measured density and density obtained by analyzing core results. 
It is recommended that five core locations are tested with the gauge, five readings per location for a total of 25 readings, and then compare no nuke density average of all five locations to the core result density averages at those same locations, ASHTO T343. To use density offset, you should set the reading mode to multiple readings and set the reading to number five. Press Menu to enter the menu screen and go to Menu Item 3, Reading Mode, by pressing 3. There are three choices in the reading mode. One, single reading. Two, multiple readings. Three, reading number. Press 1 to take a single density reading. Press 2 for multiple reading mode. In this mode, selected number of readings are collected and averaged. The default number of readings in this mode is 5. To change the total numbers to average, select 3, reading numbers. Press 3 to review and or change the reading numbers averaged in multiple readings mode. To change the total number of readings, press yes and enter the new number of readings to average for each location. Press escape to exit the reading number screen when the correct number of readings is entered. Press Escape again to leave the menu screens and return to the Ready screen. You can use the single reading mode for controlling the rolling pattern on new pavements. Place the gauge on the mat after each roller pass until no more gain in density is observed with increased number of roller passes. Note, on some projects you may see a rise in density and then a drop at the end or on the next pass. This may indicate a break in the rolling density profile, indicating max compaction has been achieved. Establishing Density Offset Make sure the area spot you want to use for calibration is flat and dry. A reading pattern like the one in the diagram should be used for taking measurements. The idea is to move the gauge between readings to get a representative measurement of the spot that is being tested. Place the no-nuke on the pavement and press Start, or the Remote Start button on the handle, to take the measurement. After each reading, move the no-nuke to the next location in the pattern and press Start again. After the fifth reading, or when total of all the readings, are completed, the no-nuke will display the average density. Record this density and the densities from the other core locations. Take the core from these locations and measure their densities in the lab. Compare the average gauge readings for all locations to the average of all core density readings for the same locations. The difference between these results is what should be used for density offset. The difference can be positive or negative. If gauge readings are higher than the core readings, the offset will be negative. If gauge readings are lower than the core results, the offset will be positive. To add an offset, press Menu to enter the menu screens. Item 2, Density Offset, allows you to turn the density offset on or off and to change the density offset value. Press 2 from the menu screen. The density offset screen will appear. Press 1 to turn the density offset on. Note, to avoid faulty readings when gauge is moved from one project to the next, density offset is deactivated when the gauge is physically turned off with the off key. You must activate the density offset when you need to use a density offset for a particular project. Press 2 from the density offset screen to review and or change offset value. Press yes to change the offset value. Input the calculated offset value and press enter to accept the new offset. Press escape to exit without saving the new value. Note, the minus key is also the down key. The decimal point is entered by holding the zero key down for over one second. To back up and change the offset, the clear entry key is used. After changing the offset value, you are asked whether density offset should be activated or not. Press yes to activate or no to exit. 8. Project Storage and Printing The NoNuke is equipped with data storage capability. Up to 25 projects and more than a thousand stations readings per project can be stored in the NoNuke. Please refer to Operator's Manual for instructions on how to set up projects and store data. Thank you for watching InstroTech's NoNuke Quick Start Guide video. If you have any questions or need further assistance, our expert support team is ready and waiting to assist you.